सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड वी आर करेंटली लर्निंग अल्टीमेट पाइथन कोर्स फ्रॉम बिगनर टू एडवांस सो इन दिस कोर्स यू विल मास्टर पाइथन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड सम प्रैक्टिस इंटरव्यूज क्वेश्चन आफ्टर ईच टॉपिक सो इफ यू हैव मिस्ड एनी ऑफ द टूटोरियल्स देन यू विल गेट अल्टीमेट पाइथन कोर्स प्ले लिस्ट लिंक एंड द टूटोरियल्स लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन चेक आउट सो नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर पाइथन सीरीज so now we will create a mini project and that is password strength checker so what is password strength checker a password strength checker is a program that will analyze your password and uh, tells you that your password is strong enough or is it weak or is it moderate for example uh, when you create an instagram account or you visit any website okay so you write email email id and then you will create your password okay so under that field Uh, a validation you have seen that uh, your password should contain eight characters or minimum eight characters or minimum six characters okay or your password should have a upper case letter or your password should have some integers or some specific symbols also that is the code which software engineers have written and uh, that code is checking your password that is it strong enough or is it weak and you have to modify or add some characters in your password okay so that feature we are making in our python project so let's begin so what are the things uh, which we will need in our project and that will be first obviously input obviously a uh, user will give input and then our code will check that its password is strong enough or not okay second thing we will need and that is define password strength rule yes we have to define our password rules that will be first rule will be that your password should contain upper case letters second rule will be password should contain integers okay third rule will be password should contain specific characters character means uh, for example dollar sign and star or slash and uh, etc okay and the last thing will be it will check your password so for that we have to write logic so let's begin our project uh, so the first thing which we have to write in our code and that is for input user will give input so for that i am creating a variable that is password and uh, input because user will give input in terminal okay and then here it will show our code will show in terminal that enter your password okay now the user will give input uh that will be password and that password will store in this password variable okay we have seen these variables and data types in that tutorial post tutorial if you have not watched you can get its link in description box this is the complete python series okay so don't uh, miss any of the video because in this uh, project also we are using each and everything operators loops list and other things also so th that's why don't miss so now the second thing will be define password strength rules so we have to write the rules that will be first rule will be at least 8 characters should be there okay so for the characters we are writing here that will be a variable i am creating that is length where it will check the length of our password means user password length the user will give the password it will check its length so for that i am writing here length for the length it will check len will check the length of our password and this password is the variable which i have created here okay the user will give password and it will store in this variable that's why i'm writing here password so that this len will check this password which user is giving and what it will check it will check obviously its length that is it greater than 8 characters if it is then it is uh it is following our rules the second condition will be at least one upper case letter should be there okay and for that i am writing here upper variable where it will check any why i am writing any any will check any of the upper case letters from a to z okay that's why any if any one character is there then also it will follow our condition and if it uses 10 characters also uh, means 10 upper case letters also then also it will uh, follow our condition that's why i'm writing here any any character dot is upper 
is upper will check that is the character is upper case letters okay is upper we have seen in our previous videos previous tutorials also so that's why i'm not explaining again and again then we are writing for this is the for loop for character in password this loop will iterate on each of the characters which users giving as password so that our code will go to each and every character it will check for each and every condition and then it will give correct output so for password it is checking that's why i have written here so if you have not understood this line let me explain you again uh, that is this any will check for the any of the characters from a to z okay this character uh, is for obviously characters and this is upper is a method which we have already seen in previous tutorials but let me tell you again is upper will check for the upper case letters okay and if you write is lower then it will check for the lower case letters okay lower case alphabets you can say that this is the for loop so that this for loop will iterate to the each and every character which user have given as password okay so that's why i have written for loop will run for the password which user have given and for what it is running for each of the character it is running or iterating okay that's why i have written this care care is the variable which we have taken then the next condition is it should have digit also so for that digit means integers so for that i am creating a variable that is digit and here also i am writing any because any of the digit okay from uh, 0 to 9 so that's why care sorry care dot is digit is digit it is checking for and then after that for loop will run for the care in and password okay we have written this also then the next condition is it should also have characters specific characters or special characters that are symbols okay so for that i'm writing here special you can also write symbols any then care in and we are writing here the characters from which we have to check uh, i'll explain you again see here the slash or at the rate sign or and star or dollar sign i hope this is enough or slash sign okay slash so now for for loop will run for this also character in password so uh, if you have not understood what is this let me guide you what is this uh, this is the same what uh, we have written here this uh, for loop will iterate to each and every character for the user password and it will check for the specific symbols okay what does this mean this means that i am giving some symbols that is seven symbols i have given and there is a rule that is user password should contain from these characters only if it contains from these characters then uh, its password is strong enough and if it does not contains from these characters that means uh, its password is not strong enough it is not following our condition for example if user is giving like this password okay and exclamation mark and percentage sign okay so what does this mean is this a symbol yes it is a symbol is this a special character yes it is special character but i have not given this character here okay it means our code will not treat it as a specific character okay it will not treat it as a, a condition okay because i have written these seven symbols only despite these seven symbols if user have written any of the specific character symbol in its password it will not treat it as a symbol it will show that your password is not strong enough if user write a uh, from these specific characters in its password then it will treat it as a strong password okay for example if user write this dollar sign and star it means that your password is strong enough because this i have written here okay so i hope you understood this that's why i have written character in 
from these for loop it will work for password okay i hope you understood this so now the next thing is we are writing the logic to check user password strength so for that we have to write conditions if is and elif condition so for that first is if condition here we are writing the condition here that is if the user password length is equals to or greater than 8 characters then it means it is following our condition that means it is a strong password second will be if user password contains upper case letters then also it is following our condition and if a uh, user password have digits then also it is following our condition and if the user password have special characters or symbols then also it's following a condition and that means if user password is following all four conditions that means it is a strong password that only we are writing here if user length is following our condition and we are writing and operator here and means all should have all conditions have true answer okay then only it is following our condition if either one is false then it will give false output i have taught you in operators okay other condition is that is upper case uh, letters also it should have and condition and digits also it should have and it should also contain special characters if all these conditions meet then user password is strong enough then user password is strong enough you can write here strong password okay so it will show strong password as output you can also use these emoji so now uh, we have written our first logic the second will be second condition will be elif condition and that is if this if condition does not meet then only this will work i have already taught you this uh, in conditional statements how does if elif and else work? i will also explain in short so elif we are writing here and the condition will be elif that is if it follows our length condition means a uh, password length is equals to or greater than 8 characters and and either of these conditions meet either of these not all means if upper case letter it contains or it contains digit or it contains special characters what does this mean see here if user password length is greater than or equals to 8 means this condition is following length condition is following here okay this condition is correct but it only contains either upper case either digit or either special characters not all three either of one then it is moderate it is neither strong password neither it's weak it is moderate okay so for that i am writing here print that is moderate password you can also use these moderate password you can also use these things control c that is okay uh, it's showing error because this yes now it's correct and you have to apply space here now it's correct now the last thing which we have to write is else part what does if elif and else part means uh first i'll write this and then i'll show you what is this in else you have to write this you don't have to give any of the condition in else in if you have to give condition in elif also you have to give condition but in else you don't need to give a condition here you directly write if else then you have to print this that is weak password weak password and you can write this also here so now i'll explain you if this condition means then it will print this if a uh, uh, user password have more than 8 characters or equals to 8 characters it should have upper case letters digit and special characters then it means strong password means if condition is meeting then this code editor will not go to this neither it will go to this uh, i am telling you how code run in backend that part i am showing you here okay. 
if if condition meets then the core data will not go here neither it will go here it simply print strong password and it will stop if this condition does not meet then your core data will go to here it will check is this condition is meeting if yes then it will show moderate password and it will not go to here if this condition also does not meet then only it will go to here what does else means else means if if condition does not means elif also not means then despite of these two condition it will work for all the conditions i'll again repeat despite of these two condition for any other condition this else will work okay so we have written our code now i will run this and i'll just remove this it's not looking good so now we will run this code and see here it is asking user input so let me give user input and that is p r i y a 1 2 3 and now star and dollar enter why it's showing moderate because it is following only three condition not four what are these let me show you see here we have written here length should have greater than or equals to 8 let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 yes it is following our first condition okay next is upper case but i have not written here upper case that means second condition it is not following first condition it is following third condition it is also following uh, means i have written here digits and the fourth condition is also following that is i have written here dollar and star special symbols but second it is not following that's why it's showing moderate again i will run this code and now i will give its input that is priya means now i am giving its upper case letter okay priya now i am writing here one and now star okay now also it will follow only three condition why because its length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 not 8 and we have written greater than equals to 8 now also it will show something uh, weak or moderate see here it's showing weak password okay now i will give um, its correct password and then it will show strong password so now i am writing here priyanshi sorry priyanshi 1 2 5 4 okay now and star okay and slash so is it following all our condition yes it is following see here now it's showing strong password okay so i hope you understood this project and i hope you have enjoyed this so do practice and so i hope you understood this and enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this channel like share and comment and please share this course with your friends and family so that they can learn python and improve their coding skills thank you so much for watching see you in the next video